boom, smack you like that. It's a process. Just like it's a process to be healthy, whole, and successful, it's a process to be dragged down. And a lot of times we don't see it. We don't recognize it, but it definitely is a process. And then and then it's it just one day it just smacks you in the face. And you just like, dang, how did I get here? Welcome back to my channel, channel. Welcome back to my channel, channel, channel. A embrace naturals, period. Now, let me stop. So, y'all, y'all could already pretty much tell what this video is to be about. Um, rewriting our story, allowing God to rewrite our story, breaking those generational cycles, curses, whatever you want to call it. We need to allow God to bind those chains up snatch them away out of our lives and throw it away in the name of Jesus. Okay, y'all? Because a lot of stuff that goes on in our life, it has got to stop. And some of it ain't even really our fault, but it is our fault. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get into all of it. So with that being said, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel, 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 channel. And thanks to all my new subscribers. I see y'all. I'm so appreciative of y'all. Like y'all just don't even know. And the people that's been rocking with me, I appreciate y'all too. I appreciate every single one of y'all, okay? And with that being said, make sure y'all share this video. Like this video up. Let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, y'all. So first things first, I know I'm not the only one that has felt like this. Like, you know, you're just going in the circles and circles. Like, ain't y'all tired of y'all life going in circles and then you feel lost or stuck and like, dang, when am I ever going to get out of this situation? Why do I end up back in this situation? I don't know what to do. It's frustrating to the point that you just frustrating. You just want to, ah! or you just angry. Or you angry at your parents or you angry at the world and you just be tired like omg you just be tired right i know y'all tired of that i know i'm tired of that and y'all that haven't if you haven't dealt with that kudos to you kudos because it's not nothing nice to deal with that's all i got to say so the first thing that i want to touch on is it's time to do some deep soul searching do you hear me self-reflect heavily on everything in your life y'all self-reflect on not just your life but your parents lives and anybody that's in your life that is around you that's been in your life that's very close to you whether it's a cousin your sibling aunts uncles whatever self-reflect y'all on your life well, that's part of your life. Everyone around you is part of your life. Self-reflect on your whole life. Write it down so you can see exactly what these um, cycles are that you keep dealing with. And that not just that you keep dealing with, but that has been going on in your family as to why you keep dealing with it. You know what I'm saying? So self-reflect is number one. Sit and think about everything and then not even think. I want you to jot it down jot down after you're done self-reflecting that's the first the thing. whole point of self-reflecting is the fact that you want to be able to see if there's any so you not see if no so that you can see the patterns and what it is that you need and want to change in your life so that's the whole point of the self-reflection so really take time and not just um think about it just once or twice I say, you know, think about it a few times or so. And for me, what I would do and my advice is to pray about it before you do the self-reflection because you want God and the Holy Spirit to reveal to you to things that you haven't looked at or things that you won't even think to look at. He will reveal it to you. Things that you need to change that you probably didn't even think was that big of a deal that needs to change that will go along with these steps. So after you self-reflect, set goals y'all set goals and then after you're done setting your goals of what it is that you want you want to 
set uh write down things that you know that you can do to reach those goals what is also taking you outside of the box of those um family patterns and um uh, and um and the uh cycles and patterns going on in your life that's what your goals need to be aiming towards not just things yes things that you want to achieve uh to be successful but not just successful financially this is about being successful mentally emotionally and even spiritually and then after you set those goals you want to um write down the things that you know that you can do because i know for me there has been plenty of times where i felt lost confused i'm like dang is this right or is that right or if i'm doing that wrong or it's right or should i go left up down i didn't know where i was coming or going you know what i'm saying because you're so used and comfortable to a certain lifestyle to certain things because that's what you grew up around that's what you were taught but just because that's what you taught don't mean that's what's right so with that being said <laughs> With that being said, <laughs> you want to um, make sure that your goals and stuff, you know, takes you outside of that same old pattern, element, comfortability, and a uh, cycle. So, uh, y'all about forgot where I was even going with this. Uh, I hate when that happened. Give me a second, y'all. Dang. Do things that you know that's not sinful or that's hurting you. And sins hurt us, whether we realize that or not, they do. So make sure you're the things that you are doing and things you know to do that make sure they are good and it aligns with the goals that you are trying to set. Okay, so also I want you all to seek professional help. I know a lot of people ain't into that, you know. I don't want to talk to no counselor. I don't want to talk to no therapist. They can't help me. All this other stuff. Cool. If that's how you feel. All right. That ain't what you want to do. That ain't what you want to do. But that's cool enough. But for those who do want to do that or is open to do it, I say do it. And it's just like with anything, whether it's medication, whether it's finding a job, whether it's finding a, a school to go to for you, for your kids, whatever. It's about trial and error. You ain't finna just go to a job and then boom, love it. You know, some of y'all that may have happened the first time around. Some people, you know, you got to shop around. So just like you got to find out what works with you in all those uh, other areas, you got to figure out what works for you when it comes to finding a counselor. So if the first or the second one don't work, don't give up. Pray about it and God will lead you to the right one. And then those that who don't want to um, go to counseling or nothing like that, I say, even the ones that are willing to go to counseling, all of us, I say pray, definitely. But also do some research. Don't just, you know, do the last few steps and just, just leave it at that. No, do some research because it's about you trying to think outside the box. And, and, and for you, this will be thinking out of the box because you're trying to mold your life into something that you want to have. And... Things that are outside of the norm for not just you, but your family, those around you, all of everything that you know, the things that you've been taught. So, yes, do research as well. It's very important. We must do research and seek professional help. And if you don't want to do the professional help, at least do the research. You know, you got to do something. You know, you're trying to move on up. So you just got to do what it do. OK, so your genuine self-improvement can't be just strictly and only for financial gains it has to be a mental emotional and spiritual thing guys i cannot stress it enough it can't just be for financial because you will move up financially but everywhere else you'll continue to decline anything that does not get better it gets worse if you're not working on improving something guess what it's not going to stay the same it's going to get worse and it's a gradual thing because the devil doesn't just boom smack you like that it's a process just like it's a process to be healthy whole and successful it's a process to be dragged down and a lot of times we don't see it we don't recognize it but it definitely is a process and then and then it's it just one day it just smacks you in the face and you just like dang how did i get here whole time it was a small gradual thing the devil was steady reeling you in and reeling you in and you ain't even know it 
It was happening right before your eyes and you didn't even know it. So I'm telling y'all, make sure whatever it is that you know for sure is wrong, make it right. Y'all have to do the work. And again, like I said at the beginning, pray to God and ask God to reveal things to you because there's things that we don't even recognize, things we don't see. And that's another way that we get dragged down slowly but surely and don't even see it until it just smacks us in the face. And we ain't trying to keep going on in the same cycles, the same patterns, the same bad or whatever, whatever with the woo. You know, we, we tired of that. We trying to grow. So with that being said, make sure you do some self-improvement. You okay? have to be dedicated. You have to be committed, y'all. Dedication and commitment to your self-growth, to your healing, okay, to your prosperity, all of that now and then if you got kids that's another reason why you definitely definitely want to do this for your kids too you want to do it for your household first and then for the rest of your family and then for those out in the world so then you can uh spread the word the knowledge the the everything that you learn unto them because y'all this this it can be hard it can be rough you know, it really can, but you got this and you can do it, y'all. So make sure y'all do it. Put your best foot forward. And the best thing to do is like I've been saying, pray to God, go to God first, then go ahead and start the whole journey of breaking those chains, these generational cycles, um, these patterns, the bad habits. You want to break all of that, right? Okay, so these are the steps to definitely do it. And number one, put God first and in the midst of it all. Another reason why it's good to seek professional help. And if you don't seek professional help, definitely do research like I was saying. But another good reason to do these things is because you really, truly want to have a different outlook on everything. You got to change your way of thinking. It has to be better than what it's been. Um... In the way, and not just on your outlook of things, but the way that you receive things and the way that you uh, act and react to situations. That you need to grow in that area too, because the world is only getting worse and you don't want to get worse with it. As the world is getting worse, you want to be going up. Because, and in, in one of the best ways to do that is to learn how to deal with situations as they come. Because, guess what? It's always something, right? It's always something. Something is always going on and it's always something and something is always happening and it's always something. It's like life is just one big ball of being a, a problem solver. But at the end of the day, the best way to solve, to problem solve and come out with the best solutions and resolutions and solutions and stuff is through God. That's the best way to do it. And and to learn to have peace and let go and let God. But the, the when you learn to really be strong mentally and emotionally through trials and tribulations and through trying to break them generational cycles, when you can be strong in the midst of that, oh, you strong, strong. And can't nothing drag you down, not even the devil and his demons, especially when you got God in the midst of it all and, and the Holy Spirit taking all of that in, listening when he speak to you. That's the best way to do it. I'm telling y'all, you, you unstoppable then at that point because you could do all things through Christ who strengthens you. You unstoppable then. But like I said, again, it's about how you act and react in a way that you your outlook and stuff on everything. Because I know for me, because stuff was always happening, coming up, middle school, teenager, high school, young adult, yeah, I was always so negative. I ain't even finna do that because I already know something finna go wrong. I ain't even finna do that. I ain't finna get my hopes up because I already know something gonna go wrong. Oh, that's too good to be true. I don't believe it. Mm -mm. I believe it when I see it. Nope. Mm. Y'all, I've changed my complete whole mindset of that. I have faith in God. I trust and I ask and I leave it in his hands. I have so much faith. I have... <sighs> Y'all was just so negative. But stuff was always happening and it was just generational cycles and it was just dealing with all that funk. Ugh, get away from me. You know, you just got to become tired and tired of being tired. You just got to get tired and tired of being tired. And once you get to that point, oh, it's like, I ain't going nowhere but up from here. And I ain't letting nobody or nothing stop me. 
And you got to be just be positive and have that mindset. Be motivated. Be determined. Stay dedicated. I don't care how tired you get. Ask for strength from God and keep going and keep pushing. You got it. You can do it. You really can. It's a process. Remember, it was a process to get to that situation. It's a process to get back up. And my bad, y'all, if y'all hear any snoring in the background, because my daughter back there knocked out, y'all. And yes, she's a snorer. She is a snorer. The last thing that I want to touch on, though, um, is um, claiming God's promises. They are in the word. I'm going to read y'all one in the, in, in, in the next few. I'm going to just tell y'all where they're found because I want y'all to go look them up for yourself, read them for yourself, and claim them in Jesus' name. But one of the ones that um, I'm going to uh, read to y'all is Psalm chapter 37, 3 through 5. And it says, Trust in the Lord and do good. So shall thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. Trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. So as long as you trust in God, you're doing good, you on the right path, uh, you're delighting yourself in God and in him and committing your way. What I say, be committed and dedicated, but you got to have God in the midst of it. And he will give you the desires of your heart and also bring it to pass. So anything you're dealing with, anything you want to overcome, um, not just for now, but for generations to change that, uh, rewrite that story change the whole dynamic god will bring it to pass you just gotta have faith claim this scripture in jesus name and he will bring it to pass and he will give you the desires of your heart um i also want y'all to go ahead and read malachi chapter 3 verse 10 and that's malachi chapter 3 verse 10 another one that i have for y'all is um psalm chapter 58 verse 13 and 14 Psalm chapter 118, verse 25 and verses 28 and 29. And then um, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 12. And make sure y'all read these. I ain't going to read y'all no more, but make sure y'all go look these up and read them for yourselves. Again, it's Deuteronomy 28, 12, Psalm 118, 25, 28 and 29, Psalm 118, um. Oh, I just said that one in Isaiah 58, 13 and verse 14. Read these out aloud, plant, claim them in Jesus name. Let go and let God leave it at his feet and at his cross and, and, and do it more than once, though. You got to have faith when you do it and you will see things start to change. You got to do all of these steps. It may seem like a lot of work, but it's going to be all well worth it. And remember, it's a process, so don't get discouraged. With that being said, I'm ending my video off here. I hope this is very helpful and insightful for a lot of y'all. I pray in uh, the blessings and, and the miracles over all of y'all lives that um, God will work everything out. He will really um, work with y'all as y'all working because God always going to do his part. But I pray uh, that y'all will stay dedicated and motivated so that you can see change happen in your family and in your lives. And, and I and pray these scriptures over your life too, over your household and over your life. And, and I'm going to be praying too that it'll work out for every one of y'all and, and even for myself because I still got stuff I'm trying to work with. You know what I'm saying? So um, share this video, y'all. This can be very helpful for other people. Make sure y'all like and um, comment anything you need to comment and I'll see y'all next time.